more importantly, you need to recruit 11 more people. That's the only way we're going to pull this off. And so use, use the film. That's, I think, the real reason why the film was made, is to get to where we're just about to get with it. And that it's, it's going to be available for around $5, as I understand, which is a pretty good deal. Last time I checked on DVD, it's five bucks. Uh, so buy at least one of them and bring your friends over. Uh, and just on a personal note, I've, I've spent most of my adult life uh, trying to convert my parents uh, to join, join us. Right? And their um, political affiliations and stances on environmental issues sort of led them you know, to basically ignore me. And, uh, and I, they, uh, maybe it's some, some familiar nods. And, and so I tried and tried and tried. And then 11th Hour came out and I said, hey, please, please, please go see 11th Hour. I worked on it with these guys, and Grace, right, you know, your granddaughter is in it. <laughs> <laughs> and they went and they saw it, and it made my, the, the film made my father a little bit edgy and angry, and he sent me kind of an edgy email, because it, it sh really shook him up. Just a lot of the things that he hadn't really thought about, and things that his life was based on, were challenged. And then I, after that, a week later, he sent me another email with the list of things that he had changed in our home, including getting unsustainable seafood out, changing all the light bulbs in the house. Uh, he was now driving a, a hybrid, and my mom's driving an electric car. And he's the mayor of this town. So he started a green initiative in this town that didn't have a green initiative. And he wants to hold a green mayor's summit in the state of Arizona, not the greenest state in the country. So, you know, so I kind of joke about it and say, so all you need to do to break through with your parents is make a film with Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> with your, your daughter in it and you, know, you, you break through. But it, it's, it's, a, it's a powerful film and, it, and getting that film out to a lot of people uh, to see it. And you know, sit with your friends and watch it or sit with your parents and watch it. And then do this in, on a smaller scale, maybe not quite as nice of a sound system, but it's, um, use it. That's, that's the whole point of this film. And it's my hope that this film will, in a few years, look really old, like really look out of date, because all these visionary things will be like, oh yeah, we already do that, and we do that, and we, we have dance floors that power our house, and, <laughs> and all that stuff's all old hat, what are we going to do next? So that's my hope. Yeah, and just to conclude, because we're going to have to wrap it up, I mean, from our perspective, 35 years ago when Earthwatch was launched, we were unique in some ways as an organization that gave the public an opportunity to actually go out and travel to these remote places around the world and see some of those uh, places and those issues that we saw in the film. Now that's no longer the case. The great thing is there are lots of opportunities to engage, to, and there's lots of points of access to get involved. And, and I think what's perhaps more meaningful is that the mindset has shifted. People realize that you no longer have to travel to the other ends of the earth to make a difference. In fact, the biggest difference you can make is right here in your own backyard. And I think it's that kind of feeling. I think, I think you don't have to go to the Amazon. You don't have to go to the, the ice caps. You, the biggest difference you can make is right here. And uh, that's pretty powerful stuff. Anyway, sadly, that's all we've got time for uh, tonight. Um, Apart from Stefan's last word. I just wanted to say one thing. I just realized when I was thanking everyone, I didn't thank uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Cause, uh, <laughs> and it's just really, I just think it's fantastic. I mean, Hollywood's such a particular, peculiar place, and there's some really light, bright souls in Hollywood, and Leo's definitely one, one of them. He was directly involved. He was in the editing room. He wrote a lot of his own lines. He was, this was, it was, um, three years in the making of this film, and uh, we spent many, many, many afternoons talking around a round table about what this was going to look like and what this was, and so I just wanted to say that, um, you know, he's, he's the real deal. Great. Well, thank you. Stefan, Betsy, Greg, thank you very much.